Right, so here I am again outside the Saudi Arabian Embassy in London on another protest, uh, another vigil for freedom of expression for what feels like an ever-increasing number of, uh, of writers, people who've had their freedom of expression rights violated by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I'm here with English Pen, Reporters Without Borders, the Society of Authors, the Peter Tatchell Foundation um, to protest the, uh, the imprisonment of, as I say, an ever, ever growing number of people. I think it's probably worth showing you the faces of some of the people for whom we're protesting. So yeah, just going along the line, the first face you see is Jamal Khashoggi. Um, he was in the news recently murdered inside uh, the Saudi Arabian consulate in Turkey um, by uh, the Saudi Arabian regime, it seems. Um, next to him uh, is a familiar face for people on my Facebook feed, at least, that's Raif Badawi. Um, who's been in prison for 10 years, sentenced to uh, a thousand lashes for the crime of setting up a, a liberal blog. Uh, this is Walid Abu al -Khair. He's uh, the most recent winner of the, the Penn Pinter Prize, chosen by Chimamande Ngozi Adichie. Uh, he's a human rights lawyer. He's actually Rafe Badawi's lawyer, I believe. He's in prison uh, himself again for for doing nothing more than than standing up to the Saudi regime and uh, and demanding that they uh, they abide by the rule of law. Um, there's Rafe again. Um, I'll just show you at the end here. Um, that's Ashraf Fayad. Um, he's actually Palestinian, a Palestinian poet, um, but imprisoned uh, by the Saudi regime because uh, because they don't like his writing. There's another another man along here somewhere. Let's see if we can find. Uh, where is Marwan? This is a uh, Yemeni uh, blogger who was writing about uh, Saudi Arabian conduct uh, in the uh, intervention in the civil civil war. There, he has been disappeared. Uh, used to live in Riyadh, and no one knows where he is we're calling on the saudi regime to to tell us uh, and there's one more where's uh fired up uh, there he is uh um another saudi blogger who's uh, who's been in prison for many years um we're calling for his release too so when i first started uh these vigils with english pen back in 2015. Uh, we were just holding Rafe Badawi's picture. Over the years, we've added the others and we were just discussing with our colleagues from Reporters Without Borders that there are more writers, uh, political prisoners, human rights defenders who we could add to that list. The Saudi regime seems to be playing a kind of macabre game of, of happy families collecting ever more diverse photographs of people whom they've abused. These aren't foreigners, by the way. These are, many of them are Saudi citizens. Someone there beeping in support of our protest. Yeah, these are, these are Saudi citizens. These are Arabic speakers. These are people um, of Islam who have been calling for human rights in Saudi Arabia. This isn't a Western imposition. This isn't activists in the UK trying to impose something on a culture that doesn't want it. These are people from within the Saudi culture uh, who are demanding greater rights, greater freedom for their people, greater artistic in expression. And the people who work in this building are hurting their own culture, hurting Arabic culture, hurting Islamic culture by their insistence on locking up, lashing and murdering people who do nothing more than, uh, than criticise them.